ambient and experimental music is something that I find myself really drawn to right now. A lot of like mood pieces and very like, if you can communicate like a really deep emotion or feeling with very little, I think that has immense weight musically. I decided once about six years ago that I wanted to do music full time. I was making music pretty consistently in my life. And I tried a bunch of different things and YouTube was kind of like supplementary, like, oh, I'll put out a music video every once in a while and that'll bring people to my music. And it was the only thing I kept doing consistently. I film everything while I'm tracking, which means I end up with a ton of B-roll and a ton of bad takes in video. If a piano part takes me 10 takes to get, I have all 10 takes on video and then I have to scrub through all of those when I'm editing and make it actually all line up with the right takes. <laughs> oh my God, you can hear my podcast in the background. I was listening to it while I was recording. Lining up clips is the worst part. Absolutely awful. I hate it. It's the absolute worst part of every project because I'll have like 10 tracks of audio and I'll have to scrub through all of this video footage to line these, these things right up. It's awful. It's really tough when the thing that you love to do most is also tied to the thing that your society deems your worth. You need to make enough money and your money is connected to art. When things go poorly, it, you feel like, oh, did I do a bad thing? Was, was, was I the bad? Was I the problem? YouTube like has a lot of issues and a lot of my friends who are content creators deal with them on a like weekly basis. I kind of deal with it by diversifying how I make my money with other platforms and seeing YouTube as a platform for hosting videos. It's not my employer. It's not the way I make money. It's not something I need to rely on because you shouldn't rely on it because it's constantly changing and doesn't care about you. The reason why I was initially drawn to it and the reason why I continue to do it is because it's a wonderful like mixed media where I can use basically everything I want to learn more about in one place. Like I want to get better at recording and mixing. I want to get more nuanced with my arrangements. So like on the like musical side, I'm gaining a ton of knowledge by making a video every week. My main piece of advice, if I were to talk to someone who's like getting into it, is to do it because you're passionate about it. There are a million ways that you can make money much, much easier than doing YouTube or doing content creation or doing Twitch. Value your mental health more than you value getting videos done. I've watched people break themselves to keep up with YouTube or put out enough content because it's like the grind will also destroy you. No one needs to be working 100 plus hour weeks to make it. Like even if you love the work you're doing, it's, it's breaking you. And so take care of yourself.